Hi everyone, so today we will do the changes for the timeline. Client want to have, instead of this, they want it to, to, they want it to be side by side. So the first step should be in here and the second step should be on the right side. So we will do that, but I'm going to start um, doing that from scratch using Visual Studio. So I can able to polish my code um, properly so stay tuned okay so I'm using Visual Studio to code my my layout from scratch so first we need to have index.html that holds our HTML and then um, I'm gonna use um, SAS for this so we can make our coding faster and then yeah so uh, the images I also have an image folder to store all of our images now let's um, start with the in index.html now we now we need to create a boilerplate for that and then I am going to import the style and we will call that styles.css and then um, here my old design is I do have two classes the left blurb and the right blurb and i'm going to remove that class because our design will be limited we cannot reposition we cannot positions our our steps if we do that so this is the code that i'm going to do so i have i already have some few codes of snippet here um hold on so here, let me paste that there so so basically I have a class instead of having a left class and then a right class because as, as on my old site this part the first step second step and third step are wrapped into a left blurb and the fourth fifth and sixth step is wrapped with the right blurb and we will no longer use that so instead, we will create different individual classes for every steps. So I've already done step one. So step two um, here is step three. So let's put that there. Finally, step six. By the way, I use prettier to make our HTML look faster. I look cleaner but I don't automatically format the style instead I just do it manually so control shift P and then format selection so you can see it's already formatted now let's check the live server see so basically this is how it looks right now because okay I want to use Chrome I prefer to use Chrome for that so basically this is how it looks for now because we haven't done any CSS yet. Now we will work on the green because again our goal is to have a right left style. So this should be the first step, this should be the second step. And yeah. So I'm going to create So it's time to work on our grid. So I'm gonna add a another class for green and I will call that um step step wrapper step wrapper and then we will put these at the end of our um step so and then okay okay and then i'm gonna go to my sas and declare let me declare a main forgot the name hold on it's step proper so step proper and we will call that why it's not working hold on spray grid and then let's try to put a grid template of 50% by 50%. This is the 
if our styles is working. Grid template column. It's not generating, but let me, you should click the watch SAS. So as you can see here, um, it's working. I mean, it's uh, the column is split into 50% by 50%. Now I want to uh, make the we, the image, um, let's say 20px, so we can really see how it looks there. Um, okay, hold on. Maxed of 20px. So as you can see, if you check that one, you'll notice that it is almost working. We already have, um, we already, we already, I mean, we're almost done with our design. And yeah, I need to add more IMG for the step five, um, steps five, and then the step six. As you can see here, the step six should be renamed to set, to step, I mean, the step five should be renamed into step six. Now, um, I need to put a vertical line here because that we, so it looks like a timeline. So I will add another class. I will call that V line. It should be inside the step proper. So V line and then, yeah just an empty V line and we need to declare another V line here and then um, let's call it height should be let's try to put 5px and then the width should be no width should be 5px and the height should be all wrong and then color should be just a sample. Just want to see if it's working here. I think it should be background. Background color uh, red. Okay, it's working. You can see that there is a vertical line, and we already have all the elements for a timeline. It's time to reposition them. So we will use a grid areas to reposition uh, to position our steps dynamically so i will put a this should be a grid template areas and um okay first i need to it's step one and then V line and then step two. So yeah. Step two. Remember the step one we created a class called step one. We created a, a class called V line and step two. Then yeah, let's for, let's do the rest. It's step three. And then step four, and then um, step five, and then step six. Now this is this should be forty-five per forty, uh, four, forty-six percent, and then this one should be eight percent, and this should be forty-six percent. See how it looks here. Oops, wait, it's not working. Control Shift E on format document. We want to format our style here. So, I was wondering why it's not okay. We haven't, this is not working for now, our grid template areas, because we haven't declared a grid areas. So, 
we need to put step and then um, step one and then this is agreed area called step one so that's the syntax for the the, the grid template areas um, if you want me to create a guide for this please let me know so yeah let's do the rest this should be six step so step one step two step three step three step four step four step five step five and then step six and then step six last but not the least is the v line and that should be grid area of v line let's see if this works now okay so as you can see here <laughs> our design is messed up but yeah hold on i'm trying to figure out let me add a background for the step one to see where is 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 currently I need to see where is the okay the step line is in the at the end of the okay the step line is at, at the end of the the browser something wrong with our class is with our CSS so let me try to check our styles that CSS so we have put comma here there shouldn't be a comma and let's see if um, there's issue we'll set the watch so let's watch that and then there is an error on the styles can it find green area for the step 5 so we haven't declare any step five so I will put a so this is this should be step six there are some typos we need to fix so we have issue with our um steps so let me fix the styles here and let's see if we are able to fix it. Okay as you can see here it, it's already working step one two three four five six and let me remove the background so we can see the layout correctly and here okay so everything is set well except for the vertical line so let me remove that So, except for the vert vertical line, there should be a line here as well. So, there, I already declared a B line here, so I'm not sure what's wrong. Let me try to put a I to see if it's working. There's no line for the V line, we need to fix that. So, I'm going to go back to style with CSS and then i will set it should be we want to keep our code there's something wrong with this v line should have a height of 100 px i was wondering why it's not working So I'm wondering why the V-Line is not working. Let me try to check if there's a typo with my code. So style with CSS V-Line, index.html. Okay, all right, that should be V-Line only. So see, as you can see here, um, it's already visible. So we need to work on our SAS and this should be set into auto. And then this should be red only, but I'm gonna create a variable later just to see, um, just to make our code cleaner. And this should be in centered view. So yeah, everything is set great. 
Um, now it's time to make our. So if I check that, this portion show. So this the first, third, and fifth step should have a left. Should have a left part. So what I'm gonna do here is in this area of my V line. So I have step one, step two. Those are V areas. So okay, I'm trying to make it clean. I'm, I'm trying to make this clean, but okay, it's already set here. Now for the mobile view, we want that to set into block. So that should be that should be um, okay. I'm gonna set max. Uh, media query for that and then max width of actually this should be media query for mobile view now here we don't want to put we can use um okay we will need to we will convert the grid into block so i'm going to use the step proper and set like this and then make sure that the display is set to block and then make sure that the V line is displayed to none. Okay. Now let's see if this works. Yeah, so it's already working first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, the other thing that we need to do is I want this first step, third step, and the fifth step to be left. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Oh, I'm wrong. Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, so everything is set well. This is the design that we wanted. Um, let me set the um, inspect the elements and here in this area, okay, in this area, we don't want to, to have this kind of alignment. So I need to declare something in the have a declaration on this stuff and I will not I will no longer set any um, media query for the max but instead for the min width only so let's see so as you can see here our width is um, our mobile view is is the layout that we are expecting so this is right now let's see the desktop version again um, it should be 1100 but I'm gonna set that later to 1150 oh what's wrong okay, there's an issue I'm not sure what's the problem but there is an issue if I if I use a mean width see here so instead what will I just do is set a media query for here so I keep using pixel for the media query is when you zoom out the the element um the, the pixel will also the width of your 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 window will be also affected so better to use um, em when the, you are declaring a media query so em max width of, of 30, 62 em and then let's, let's put it there and then i will just remove the media query that i just put here instead we will um, put this into our media query and then I will move this at the bottom here. Actually, you 
need to set that here. I think the best way is to set that. Yeah, I think we'll just put it there. And let's see. Oh, so it's perfectly working fine. Let me set that. Let me try to view it in mobile. So this is the the layout that we want. We don't want to have any divider on our mobile view, but if it's in 1100px, then that's the design that we are looking for. So I will set that into, I want it to be on the center. I want the wrapper to be in center. So that is margin of and that should be 90 report. See, and you can see it's perfectly working fine, and this is what we want. This is the client one. If you check, if you check the website, okay, check the website. This is how it looks at the moment. I'm gonna grab the branding color that she want, and we will put that into our um, my CSS class. Hold on, I will put. I will declare a extent of color. So in my CSS class, let me declare a var variable so branding primary color and then set that into this. And here all of the V V line should be in red in the, in the primary color. So let's see. Okay. Um, also into our H3 should be I need to set the H3 thing. So select for I don't want to put all of the necessary selector because this is only the code that we need for now. So, yeah. Oops, there's something wrong. We go back to HTML and it should be H4, not H3. Okay, I want to set the height to. It's, I don't want to be 2px. It's only 2px. I want it to be clean. And then this font is Arial. So body should have a font only family of Arial. And yeah. So the last thing would be the image. The image was too small. So go back at the button and let me set that into 50 so I'm trying I'm always trying to convert all the px to rim px to rim um not rim but pm and for the image well I think that's fine 50 px and then I will set a border radius of 50 percent because we want it to be rounded and yeah we already have the design that we are looking for um let me just set that to 70 so it's more so yeah this is the design that we are looking for this was the client this is my original design and it doesn't want that I want it to be side by side and um um, this is just for building from scratch. On my next video, I'm going to convert that into DV. Um, please let me know um, if you want me to if you want me to do a tutorial on how to convert this into DV layout. I need a 600 subscriber in order for me to create this timeline the conversion thing and if you are um if you are in a hurry and you really want to have 
the layout to be converted in Divi, then you can message me on Facebook. Um, I'll be happy to set that with you. Um, but there will be a, a set of fee, a small set of fee for 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 me to configure the layout for you. It's not really big. But yeah, message me on Facebook if you are really in hurry or um, subscribe to my channel if I've got 600 subscriber then I will unlock the detail by detail tutorial and how did I convert the scratch from the layout have a great day and again I hope this has been helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the bell notification and thumbs up if you like my video and also I'll be happy to cover more topics that you want me to do comment down below any kind of topics, AdSense, um, WordPress, and other stuff, if I can do it, then I'll be happy to share it on, on, on YouTube. Have a great day!